Hello, this is Teresa from Whimsical Card Studio. I'm here with a new tutorial for Dare to Be Artsy. I'll be sharing how to create these two variations of an Ocean Waves theme card. And to get started, I'm going to be using this Dare to Be Artsy stamp set. It's called Ocean Waves. I will be using one sentiment as well as the waves out of this stamp set today. And as you can see, I already have the stamp set up in my Misty ready to go. And I'm going to put this painter's tape across the middle of my card panel and make sure that it is straight before I get started on stamping. Now you may notice I'm not using white. I'm actually using a very light uh, value gray cardstock. I believe it's called Fog. And the reason that I made that choice is I thought this looked better than stamping this color, the waves color on white. Again, that's just a personal preference. Uh, I placed a stamp so that I would be able to flip it over and stamp on the other side without having to reposition the stamp. And by the way, the ink color I'm using is Dare to Be Artsy's Paradise, which is a beautiful little turquoise color. And I'm peeling back the painter's tape just to show you where I will be stamping the sentiment eventually. So leaving the painter's tape in place, I'm using a makeup brush and... This gives a very soft result when you use it to ink blend, and I'm not going to be particularly careful about trying to stay exactly in the lines. I'm just going to kind of concentrate on building up color across the stamped area, and if some of it ends up outside the lines, that's just fine with me. Uh, because it's a very uh, soft result, you may have to go over it a few times to blend it to the intensity of color that you desire so that so you'll see that I actually go back over it a few times until I've built up the color to where I like it. And now that I'm finished up with this step, I'm going to add, add uh, some ink around the edges of my card panel just so that there's a little bit of contrast around the edges. And then I decided to go back in with a brush and blend in a little more color from the edges towards the waves. And now I'm stamping the sentiment in the center of my card panel. And this time I'm using Versamar ink because I'm going to use uh, embossing powder on the sentiment. And I chose to use a really interesting embossing powder. It's by Wow. And you, as you can see, it's got a lot of different shades of greens in it. It's called uh, Verdigris, by the way. And when you heat emboss it, what you see in the end is that the finished heat embossing looks like a mixture of gold in different teal and aqua colors, which I thought was very pretty. And I'm finishing off the panel by adding some gold stickers. And I'm using gold because there is gold in that embossing powder. So I just get those lined up. And these are a lot like, kind of like washi tape. You have a little bit of time to work with them before they pretty much stay adhered permanently. So I decided to do the same basic thing again, but this time I didn't use the green ink to stamp it. I used Versamark and then I'm using that same WOW embossing powder all over the panel. And I heat emboss that and then I'm going to ink up the panel exactly the same way as I did with the previous one. So there's really nothing new to see here. I'm just doing the exact same color blending technique that I did before onto the panel on both sides. And then I'll also stamp and heat emboss the middle section just like I did the previous one with the same embossing powder. And as you can see, I put the same gold stripes on both. And on one, the, the one that was stamped with the ink, I put a bunch of Nuvo drops to embellish it. And then on the other one where I'm using the WOW embossing powder all over, I didn't add any additional embellishment. I'm so glad you spent time with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And until next time, I dare you to get artsy. Okay, what the heck?